Welcome to Cut Above Tarot, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Sagittarius, my darling Sagittarius, Sagittarius, ah, Sagittarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and other placements. Please like, share, subscribe, and comment if you're cruising viewing. We appreciate that, too. If you're a subscriber, thank you for coming back. And if you're a new subscriber, hello and welcome to Cut Above Tarot family. Please like, share, subscribe, and comment. Now, I am doing your breakfast read, uh, Sagittarius, so let's get right to it. Because you know sometimes they go a little bit over what I plan on doing. All right, so I already cut the cards, got the cards already done, and the bottom card says the Knight of Pentacles. So right now you might be feeling like you got money, but it's coming in slow. But that ain't what I heard. You see, I hear that you you feel like your money kind of funny. Okay, you need your money to come in a little faster than what it is. Right on. All right, so tell us a little bit more. What is it that Sagittarius need to know? What is Sagittarius breakfast reading? All right. You got the two of cups, okay? So either you or somebody else got some got something going on with the money, all right? Ooh, and there's about to be some balance brought to this here. Uh-huh, you got seven of cups. Yep. Yeah, it's about to be some balance brought into this here so y'all can make better choices. Or whoever this person is can make better choices. So Sagittarius look like, uh, yeah. So they said it was some funny money. That's what they said. It was funny money. All right. They said, okay, you got the Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles normally means that you got money coming in, but it's coming in slow, right? All right. Then you had the two of cups that come on top of that. All right. So you got somebody else that's in your life or coming into your life that's going to help you out. Okay. This is a loving and kind person. All right. This is somebody or this may be you. You're about to put get some balance in your money. And that's what caused you to have this justice card as well. Okay. So you got the justice and the two of cups, which both speaks about some balance coming into your life. Okay. Balancing your money. Balancing communication. Because we also know the swords mean communication as well as uh, clarity. All right. Uh, then you got the seven of cups on top of that. Uh, it might have been something that you was trying to do that you were pretty much like you was more in an illusion about thinking that it was going to work and it didn't work out the way you wanted to. However, you have the hierophant. Looks like that somebody of a higher status is going to be assisting you. Okay, or you are paying some form of uh, retribution or something like that in order to be able to stay free. All right, so you could be paying child support. Uh, or it could be you getting your money coming in from the government. Or you could be getting some money coming in uh, monthly on RA or something like that. However, you got the Queen of Wands and the Death card, okay? <clears throat> so, look like you're going to be getting a little bit more creative. But you, you're putting an end to some kind of fling you having? Really? Ooh. I hear no money, no honey. Somebody told you that, Aquarius? I mean, uh, Sagittarius, or you told somebody else that? No money, no honey. Dang. Okay. Well, you got the world card. Look like uh, somebody about to do some traveling. Or somebody after that was told no money, no honey. They decided to take a trip or else or they did some driving. Either they drove somewhere or they took a trip out of town or to a different city. Good Lord. Did you see that? I know y'all oh, didn't see them cars. They would like to say, pew, two of them. Let's see what they're talking about. Hold on, guys. I got to get to them. There's one under the table and the other one by the, by the corner of the table. Give me a moment. All right, eyes back. I is back, yeah. <laughs> okay, so... Not sure which one came for first, but it looked like this Queen of Swords had some choice words that she had to say, you know. 
Uh-huh. She got real creative. Yes, she did. She said what she had to say, and then she looked like she either turned around and tried to make things happen for her. She did make them happen. Or else, you, Sagittarius, is the one who's the queen of swords, because you know you are the nemesis for uh, Gemini, right? So, and this is the queen of swords, right? So somebody has some words to say. I don't know if they cut somebody out, but they gave somebody some truth, okay? Not only that, then a magician came out. So it looked like Sagittarius, you had to make some things happen for yourself. Ooh, and you got the chariot card. All right, so look like you look like you head up out of Dodge. You moved around real fast. Quick, fast, and hurry. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did, Sagittarius. You say, fuck this shit. Let me get on down the road. Mm-hmm. All right, all right, now you're feeling more balanced. Uh huh. Yeah, look like you've been doing some seeking, some searching. Okay, uh, you're looking for some answers in places that you know are balanced. Yeah, look like you might be asking people that are a little more mature, people that you feel like they might have some experiences uh, to assist you with whatever this is. Now, we can find out. Okay, you got judgment. Okay. Okay. So, whatever this situation is that you found yourself in, you know that they don't want to let me in on because, you know, I be wanting to know some stuff sometimes. Uh, I think it made you feel a little awkward. Okay. Yeah. Ooh. So, somebody seduced you. Okay. Hold on. Wait a minute. So, that was the art of seduction that took place here. Okay, it's the attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation, third party interference. So, ooh, 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 Sagittarius, I'm gonna say it, I'm gonna say it, I'm gonna say it. Sagittarius, either you seduced somebody, or somebody seduced you, and then they thought that they were gonna get some money, but they found out that you didn't have it like that. So, what they end up doing, turn around and told you, no money, no honey. Next thing you know, you had to bail up out of Dodge. You done got up, you done got your stuff, and you moving. That's that cherry. You ended up finding yourself moving from one city to another city. You might have been driving. Matter of fact, you might have met somebody in a whole different city, and then you decided to go back it was from where you came from. Uh huh. Now, uh, you feeling all awkward and stuff because you playing on your mind of what the hell and happened. Okay, so now all this went down, you know, and you find an old girl, an old boy, you know, has been just using you for your duckets, your change, your legion, okay, your money, your moolah, your dineros. You know what I'm saying? Now you got some judgment that came in. All right? Now, the creator, God, the father, the universe, the source, uh, knows all about this here in advance. He knows it before you know it. However, since you didn't take care of it and you knew and you was doing some blind stuff, yeah, I'm just going to put it on out there. You knew you was blind. You were playing like you were blind, that you was ignorant to what was going on. He said, let me go ahead on and put it out there. I'm going to go ahead on and cause you to have no other choice but to confront this. Okay, so now you know, beyond a shadow of a doubt, what was going on. Yep. Okay. Anything else for Sagittarius? Sagittarius need to know what's their next move. Your next move, Sagittarius, is the Ace of Wands. It's time for you to uh, get creative. All right, sit down and think about what you want to do with your life and stuff. Because you know, once you start doing that, what's going to happen? Number rewards going to come in. Number blessings come in. It's like every time you go through something that you get them some kind of gain, whether it be financial or spiritual or emotional. It might even be a physical healing or something. But when we go through things, we are rewarded. And I think those rewards come because we begin to start elevating spiritually, okay? We start getting closer to where we're supposed to be at, where we're not, all right? And I I truly feel like that, that yep, look at that. Okay, so you, you, you're going up. You're going up, but look at you. There are some things, there, there are some standards, there are some... There's some standards that you can't even reach. All right, you might can measure up to these down here, but these are over there, over your head. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Or oh, somebody not meeting meet your expectations. Okay, so you decide to walk away or oh, this other person. All right. All right, so yeah. So this is what it looks like. 
It looks like, uh, and if this have anything to do with a relationship, look like whatever that flame is, I'm going to call it your old flame, okay? Because whatever happened may have happened an hour or two or later. So that's your old flame now. So if that's your old flame, look like you're going to be walking away from that old flame, okay? However, if this is uh, this is talking about what you're going to do next, it looks like, yeah, that's what you're going to do. You're going to walk away from that. You ain't going to even turn back and look at it. Well, you are looking back at it. You're looking back at it. Like, you sure this is what you want? You sure this is what you want? Okay. I'm moving around. All right. It's like you you trying to give them a, you trying to get them an opportunity to make a final decision. Make sure this is what you want because when I'm gone, I'm gone. Don't call me and ask me for nothing. Don't ask me for my money or nothing. Okay? Six of Wands. Look at that. Yeah. So now you're going to be moving forward. Look at that. You're going to be moving forward. All right? All eyes on you. You're going to be a winner. You are a winner. You're coming in. You're going to be victorious and triumphant. And whatever this is that you're doing. All right? Anything else for Sagittarius before I close this reading down? Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and other placements. One more shuffle for Sagittarius. All right, Sagittarius, that's all I got for you. Please like, share, subscribe, and comment. I'll be back to do another video just for you. Oh, you got another video. You got another uh card that popped out. Okay. And that's, this card is in the Love Oracle cards. The last card that you got is uh, uh the palm tree. It says stability and security. Performance, growth, endurance, and flexibility. So expect this to happen for you. Okay, Sagittarius, these are the things that you, you should be looking forward to happening if they're not already taking place in your life. You're going to get some more so stability, more security, okay? Uh, if you're working in your performance, there's going to be more growth. So everything is positive. You got nothing but positivity coming your way, all right? See you in the next video. Yay, yay.